The Secret Service has announced it has closed its investigation into that mysterious bag of cocaine found in the White House earlier this month. So why wasn't a suspect ever identified? We get some answers from Nicole Ganga at the White House. After the Secret Service discovered cocaine in the West Wing of the White House, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said President Biden expected a thorough investigation. The president thinks it's very important to get to the bottom of this. That's but after just 10 days, the Secret Service closed its investigation, unable to identify whose cocaine it was and how it got inside the White House. The small baggie containing roughly 0.2 grams of the drug was found July 2nd, just inside the guest entryway to the West Wing in a cubby used by visitors to store cell phones, steps away from the Situation Room. FBI analysts examining the bag looked for traces of DNA and fingerprints, but found no definitive results. The Secret Service, which briefed the House Oversight Committee this morning, scoured video inside and outside the building and said no surveillance footage provided investigative leads. They don't know who it is and they, they it's a complete failure. Some Republicans left the briefing demanding answers. How can in the White House, 24-7 security, they find cocaine, but now they just close the investigation. In its statement, the Secret Service cited the difficulty in singling out a person among the hundreds of individuals who passed through the area where the cocaine was discovered. The Secret Service has a canine unit that does screen for explosive devices and biohazards, but not illegal drugs. For some lawmakers, this incident now raises serious questions about security protocols at the White House.